Hello everyone, a very warm welcome from wherever you are tuned. Uh, from there, we see uh, this new wave of uh, freedom fighters emerging. It's going on for quite a while. Uh, it's nothing new, but this TRF phenomena, this is taking the valley by the storm because its appeal is very different. It's uh, its tactics is more towards the way uh, success is uh, is generated without a hype using popular media targeting small tar uh, taking on small targets and making big impact just like this this skirmish uh, or the battle uh, taking three top security forces official that's enough to create a ripple all across and then you have a 96 hours standoff still going on that, that shows their invincibility makes them more legend and what is fueling this entire thing it is the discrimination the sense of insecurity which is moving from across mainland india into kashmir and that's what making their young ones pick up stones arms whatever is possible to save their honor and it will continue if a majority uh, led hindu uh, establishment not I, i'll i'll retract my word the fanatic establishment it is using a majority card to totally bulldoze man i shouldn't be shy in saying ethnic and religious cleansing that's going on there so that has put the entire foundation of the region in a very different dilemma i'm a little bit taken aback that right now people are not coming to the fact that if in mainland kashmir uh, india things continue like this there will be if not civil war it will be such a big dispute internally that its fallout will be felt from pakistan till bangladesh and other areas which are bordering india because things will really get out of control the way they are managing it's nothing short of what we see the rise of the nazi party in germany how 1933 to 39 gave them the chance to propagate to stamp an agenda which totally totally overpowered every every wave of thinking in their society and the same is happening in Kashmir and India overall so these fighters as I mentioned they are uh, they are home homegrown they're in, in indigenous they are young who are being forced to look into their identity this is not the Kashmir we know from the late 1990s everybody was progressing tourism was coming it was reflecting uh, an outlook of a, a normalcy in hard times but the state patronage from delhi was clear they hold them very close and they care for that now that's not the case that string is broken so these seeing their uh, uh, their uh, uh, what you can say their religious members or the minorities the way they are being dealt in the mainland india they will not wait for the same to happen here systematically so what they will they will do they will retaliate and now what is more important that this retaliation will be without discrimination of of religious setting so those local population which is aiding the state machinery is labeled as uh, non-friendly and they will also be targeted just as in the case of Anand Nag, one of the SP he belongs to uh, Muslim background but still as he is walking with the uniform he is to the freedom fighter is enemy along with the local population uh, the pandits uh, they, they, they will be on the target list because uh, their presence will be uh, element of fear to the locals and uh, 
by all means the tech techs they've changed as well with time and they're using the popular medium that's like uh, twitter facebook social media in a very systematic manner they are targeting they're taking their appeal and their appeal is getting endorsed because again you have to go back to mainland india to see how the things are there so when you have butcher of gujarat sitting on the seat which is the highest of the state uh, you, you do not uh, uh, wish for any any e equality or justice so it's a preemption on behalf of the indigenous population against what is coming their way and this will become more stronger there is no need of living in the past looking into previous uh, labels of who is sponsoring whom this will not be the case it's it's it, the fuel to the fire is internal and that's uh, on the rise the way it has been managed and uh, we will see in coming months more of such events because the roots are there they are well they are well established because of the atrocities being done to the minorities in mainland India. This will not stop these young boys to preserve, to safeguard their identity, their ideological roots, their family, their loved ones, their culture, their religion. And for that reason, unless an impartial decision on Kashmir is made by the will of the people, not by force, you can't have a million troops standing on top of them with guns and no law to regulate their conduct and tell them to express their will that's not happening whatever you say so it's something that we will keep an eye very closely now the way things are evolving to bring to you uh, what's the insight into the event thank you look after yourself